Why mix it with hot glue? Let's find out. Here we have pure paraffin wax melting down. Here is our 20 grams of paraffin wax mixed with 40 grams of low temp hot glue. And then here is a plain hot glue gun. So here we have our paraffin wax ready to go. Let's get a little spoonful of that. Pour some right here in the middle. And stamp. And that is so liquidy that already that looks like that's going to be trouble. And then it's got to harden fully, right? So I'm going to leave that right there. It doesn't look like it's going to go anywhere for a second. Be right Okay, so that looks like it's pretty good. Ooh, broke apart. That's not very pretty. Let's try hot glue next. Let's try the hot glue gun next and see what we get with that. So we'll put us a little bead of hot glue right about there in the middle. Okay. Let's stick that down on top of there like that. Let's see what this turns out like. Huh? Ooh, that's, that's really on there. Let go. All right. Now let's try the third one. So let's peel that and see what that looks like. Yeah, all right. So this one was extremely hard to get loose. This one basically fell to pieces. And this one was moderate, was just fine. This one poured the best. This was very thick and left strings everywhere. This one was basically water and I noticed that it's dark and I noticed that it bled all over. So, yeah. And so let's try putting some marker on the top of that and see what the final looks like. And to be fair, we'll do all three. So we'll go around this border. <laughs> oh my God. So it's a clear winner in my opinion. You guys let me know what you think in the comments, but I feel like the clear winner here is uh, the combination of the two, which again is 20 grams of paraffin wax to 40 grams of hot glue. And again, low temp hot glue. All right, so the definition looks okay. Looks like it's got a good definition. So hot glue does do a good definition and they do make hot glue in colored form. You can buy it in all kinds of colors. So it looks good in terms of definition and it left stringies everywhere. This one seems to be the best pourability, the best stick, uh, and it doesn't bleed onto the paper. And it's, of course, you can color it whatever color you want to. Um, here's the thing though. This one was easier to release. It did not take as long for this one to cool down. The hot glue was the fastest. Uh, the paraffin wax took the longest. And it was basically water. So I would say ultimately that one wins. Now we got to test durability. And the durability test is going to be a matter of bending it. Oh, oh my God. That just snapped right into. And it fell right off the page. All right. So loser. This one. That is super bendy. That is like mega bendy. And does it peel? Oh no, it's on there. That's well, it's hot glue. Now this one, it's not as bendy and it can break, but it doesn't break till call that uh what is that? About a 45 degree angle, not quite 90. So it breaks around the edges. It doesn't seem to break around the thinner bits. Those thinner bits stay flexible. The bigger bits did break. About turning it this way. Well, it's, it's mostly even, about 45 degree angle. This one is very, very flexible all the way around. So I would say that if in a pinch, you didn't want to use the combination to get the nice uh, combination of things, you could use colored glue sticks. I could say you could do that. But it, again, look how stringy that is. Like there's a lot of cleanup, and if you're trying to make it look nice and professional, this one looks the most professional, and nobody's going to be doing this type of a durability test, but the uh, normal little flexi in the mail it would survive just fine, and no video I've ever seen of somebody doing an unboxing with one of these has had a split seal. I would say paraffin wax is the obvious loser on this of the three. But I hope that was interesting, and I wanted to make a informative video. So I hope you guys have a great night. Stay hydrated and clean as you go. Peace, dudes.